Hey guys, Sin here, and I've got a short series here for you comparing the class system from Battlefield 4 to the one in Warface. So there's a lot to talk about here, and considering they're completely different games, I'm just going to compare the core class mechanics, like healing, resupplying, etc. Now the class system is mostly seen in RPG games like Diablo or World of Warcraft, and even in those games it's really hard to balance the classes. So when you bring RPG elements like healing and tanking to a game like Battlefield, it's really difficult to balance combat effectiveness and utility. Class balance in games like Battlefield and Warface probably wouldn't be so bad if it only had one game mode, but these games offer many different game modes that all have different strategies and different objectives. So even if classes are balanced in one game mode, there's always going to be another game mode where one class might be more effective than the others. I believe the classes in Battlefield are extremely flawed no matter which game mode you play. I'm not saying that any one class dominates the others, <coughs> assault, but I do want to take a look at another game and compare the mechanics between the two. So that's what we're going to do with Warface today. Both games mirror four core classes, Medic, Engineer, Support, and Sniper. And where Battlefield might offer too much as far as class optimization is concerned, Warface might offer too little. But the mechanics Warface offers in their classes is actually really, really fun, really intuitive, and really immersive. So before I go off on a tangent, let's just jump right in. Alright, to start off with, we're going to compare the Assault class in Battlefield 4 to the Medic class in Warface. In Battlefield 4, you've got the Assault Rifle as a unique primary weapon, and for the gadgets, we have the First Aid Pack, Med Bag, and Defibrillator. We also have the Underslung Shotguns and Grenade Launchers, but that's because they've pretty much merged two different classes into one. They've done that a lot in this game. Uh, if you look at the, especially if you look at the primary weapons here, you have the Carbine Shotguns and DMRs, so any, any weakness your class might have as far as primary weapons, you can mitigate by using any of these. So shotguns, super close range, carbines, mid-range, just like the assault rifle, and TMRs, long range, just like the sniper rifles. But we're pretty much, for simplicity's sake, we're going to compare the uh, the healing gadgets, or the healing mechanics from the assault class uh, and the primary weapon, the unique primary weapon, to the medic class in Warface. So just taking those into consideration, because I still want to talk about all this other stuff that blends these roles in this game uh, and, and makes it so that there's a lot of homogenization uh, between the classes. But we're just going to talk about the primary weapon and the gadgets, the healing gadgets. So in Battlefield 4, the way the healing works is uh, we have the, the, these med packs and we also have the med bag. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. But the med packs, these are what you start with when you first load into the game when you have, like, no rank when you're level 1. You start off with the med pack. These are pretty cool. I still use these from time to time, but they're not quite as good as the med bag. You, uh, you basically throw these at an injured soldier uh, if it lands on them or if they run over it. If they're injured, they'll pick it up. It'll disappear, and they'll start healing. And it'll heal them up to full health, assuming they don't get hit. If if the soldier gets hit while they're healing, this thing is completely negated. They don't get any healing anymore. Uh, so it doesn't it doesn't heal for like a hundred points or anything, which would make it a lot stronger. It just it heals until you get hit. So if you're if you have like five health and you get thrown one of these, it should heal you up to full, assuming you don't get hit. So they're, they're still pretty powerful because you can throw them on the move. Um, you have, if you look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see that you have two charges of this and they they resupply pretty quickly. So I just used one, you wait a few seconds and it should recharge pretty, yeah, they're right there, pretty quick. So these get used really fast. Um, the healing in this game is really strong and a lot of it's really passive. Like I said, all you have to do is pick this up, and you can just you can have your primary weapon out and be shooting, and you'll just continue healing unless you get hit. As far as the medic, the med box goes, that is a lot stronger. The medic bag is going to heal you in an area, so this has an area of effect. So if you're standing, if you throw this behind cover and you're standing behind cover and if engaging in a 
a firefight with somebody else, this will continue healing you passively. As long as it as long as it's sitting here on the ground next to you, it's gonna continue healing you. And that's really, really strong. So they take a lot of the actual healing um, in this game and make it really, really passive. So you you really your job as a medic is not hard at all. The only the only thing you have to worry about and the only thing you have to micromanage are these defibrillators. These defibrillators have, if you look at the bottom again at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, they have three charges, up to three charges, and you can heal you can revive three people back to back to back. Until you and then it'll a few seconds later you'll get another charge. So even that, they give you a lot of power in this game for healing. And so that's probably the reason why a lot of veteran players in this game get really mad at assault players that don't have defibrillators, aren't healing. It's so easy in this game. Mo like this med box, you just throw it down. You don't even have to, you can leave it there and run halfway across the map and it'll stay there as long as you're alive. So people can just run up to it and get healing from you from halfway across the, from all the way across the map. And with the with uh, the field upgrades you can further enhance this by having an extra one. So you can put one at one choke, choke point and then throw another one at another choke point and be healing both sides, both choke points. Now, on the other hand, we have Warface, which for your primary weapon, you have a shotgun. This is the only this is the only weapon you can use. There is no carbines or DMRs or shock, uh, shotguns. Uh, there's no assault rifles to use for this. They've basically decided that the healing healing it as a role, uh, being a medic as a role in this game, is so powerful that they didn't want to give them any sort of range uh, on their primary weapon. They gave them the shotgun. You can be good at close range, and that's it. And the way the healing works in this game is you have a, ba a bag that you actually have to hold in your hands. So as you're healing, and I'm going to put some footage on your screen to show you how this works. When you mouse over a player, you're, you have uh, it'll display their health in the little reticle in the middle of your screen. And the way the healing works in this game is you basically hold the trigger down and it'll heal them uh, over time. Like basically, uh, it'll use up charges on your healing pack. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, just like in Battlefield, it'll have charges. But instead of, uh, you know, like three charges, you get three uses. This has 100 points that recharges over time. And you can use like 10 points on one guy, 10 points on another, 10 points on another, and it'll just keep recharging. And so I actually really like that. I think that healing mechanic is... it. it makes you feel more like a medic because you actually have to micromanage it and it it heals pretty fast and not only does it i mean it's it's not like the medic box in battlefield where you, you can do it passively you throw it on the ground and people get healed but it uh is still very very powerful and you can heal lots of people with it and get lots of points from it you also have the defibrillator which uses the same exact charges as your healing so it it's the same ammunition for both for both gadgets. You have to have 100 points, uh, 100 healing points in your in your bar to be able to use the the defibrillator. So you have to make the decision to either heal your teammate, one teammate, or revive the other. Uh, it so it makes it really it actually makes the class really fun to play, and you can end up using just those gadgets throughout an entire match trying to keep people alive so there you don't even really have to do much shooting and you can pretty much use your primary weapon as self-defense if people get in real close and it is very the the shotguns in this game mean business up close so those are the main differences between the healing mechanics between battlefield 4 and warface and as far i mean if you ask me as far as the class balance i think warface has done it better I think in Warface, having having really strong healing mechanics with uh, you're locked into a single primary type of primary weapon, really makes the class special, and it really keeps keeps it balanced against the other classes like the sniper. The sniper is going to have a huge advantage at range, so 
I mean, as far as like the primary weapon is concerned, I think they've done a really good job in this game. Um, the assault rifle, having the assault rifle and really strong, really, really strong passive healing in Battlefield makes the assault kit just like so st way too strong in almost every in almost every situation except for against vehicles. And even then, they've made pickup launchers in the game that allow you to fight against vehicles uh, in almost all the maps. There's a there's a launcher you can pick up, so you can pretty much roll around as as a assault in that game and and rule the entire map everywhere you go. You, your assault rifle gives you uh, plenty of strength against snipers. Um, it's more accurate than the LMGs, so regardless of the amount of lead that a support can throw down range, you're going to be more accurate than him uh, with pretty much the same range as them. So I think, as far as class balance is concerned, I think the medic class in Warface was done better. It was fleshed out, a little more fleshed out. Uh, the healing the healing is more fun, um, and reviving is a big deal in this game. So I think Warface takes the cake on this one, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to hear more of my thoughts on the assault class, let me know in the comments below. I might do a follow-up video. And stay tuned for the next video where I compare the support classes. See you guys next time.